This is my first tries at FT8 on my Azu DX3000. Um, I'm on 20 meters right now. I just made my first contact, someone up north, about 300 miles, 400 miles away. But the, uh, this is the FT8 display in WSJT-X, the app. It just released a, a beta, and it's just really crazy. It's uh, The messages now, instead of being one minute like JT65 or JT9, are four times a minute every 15 seconds. So a full QSO can be like a minute and, a minute and 15 seconds, something like that. But it's there's so much activity going on right now. Here's the map. The yellow boxes are where I transmitted just a few minutes ago. And the activity on FT8 has just increased exponentially. But you can see on the, the waterfall below, those uh, blocks are the FT8. Um, and you can see they alternate uh, transmission and nothing, and transmission and nothing. Those are CQs going out. And it's so hard to respond. You have only like two seconds to enable the transmitter and to and enable the auto sequencing, to, uh, which is different than what, what you used to do in JT65 and JT9, where you, you manually sequence through the message protocol. Uh, the auto sequence does work, but it is, man, you have to be on your toes. They stop from, you know, riding over, you know, stopping the transmitter and stuff like that if you have a problem. Anyway, it's pretty cool and it's really hopping right now.